Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Retrofit. Our viewer asks, how do I get name value pairs in a JSON request using Retrofit? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To post a JSON object request using Retrofit, we need to ensure that our request structure matches what the server expects. Let's start by reviewing the original request format. In your current setup, the request is being altered, resulting in the addition of name value pairs. This is likely due to how the JSON object is being serialized. To fix this, we can use a different approach. Instead of using JSON object directly, consider creating a data model class that matches your request structure. Retrofit can then serialize this model correctly without adding unwanted parameters. Now update your API interface to accept this new model instead of JSON object. This will ensure that Retrofit handles the serialization correctly. Finally, in your main activity, Create an instance of request model, populate it with the necessary data, and pass it to the save post method. This should resolve the issue and allow you to post the request successfully. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To send name value pairs in a JSON request using Retrofit, first update your API interface. Use the post method and specify the content type as JSON. Next, modify your main activity. In the onCreate method, call the sendPost function with your JSON request object. In the sendPost method, create a request body from your JSON object and enqueue the call to save post. Handle the response and any potential errors. For Kotlin users, the process is similar. Create a request body and enqueue the call within the send post function. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.